All right guys, welcome back to Schneid's 15. Making this video today quick. I uh, came into work here to, a little bit early to look at this boat here of a friend's. It's been bothering me all night. There's uh, it's an old, uh, 2011 Verado 150, which I've pulled all the parts off of, and that's from a bellows job yesterday. Don't mind the mess. Uh, anyways, I did a water pump, oil change, gear oil change. He just redid everything. Or uh, we went over the whole boat, lights, everything. He just bought it. Uh, he took it out. I took it for a test run, ran good. He took it out for 15 or 20 minutes yesterday and it puked out almost all the oil. He had to shut off the boat, uh, got a low oil pressure, it went into guardian mode. Uh, I told him to keep driving it and then all of a sudden he got a low oil pressure light. So he shut off the motor would, and then I told him to paddle it back in. So what's happening, I pulled off the covers obviously. Uh, we're just gonna show you where this oil leak is. It might be common on these Verados and it'll help you. So I've pulled off this, well this is for your VST for the fuel module back. It's like a cover, I took that off. That rubber plug goes on the side there. So the motor's full of oil. I'll show you what it's doing. As you can see, the oil is just puking out of there. That's how he lost six liters of oil in, you know, 15 minutes or less. So, anyways, we're gonna drain the oil here and see what that plug's for. I'm not a Verado specialist, but I mean, it's an oil leak. I'm just gonna see, I don't know, know your pan's up here and this goes down here. So I gotta figure out what that's in there for and replace that seal. It seems to be coming out the side of it. So we'll find out what it is. But just in that minute of running, I just put some cheaper oil on it to start it up. And that was probably about a liter or two out of there already. It's crazy. All right, guys. Well, I opened up my Verado book. I just pulled out, I drained the oil. Uh, so you can see there was a little bit of water in it. This is not part of your oil system. That's a poppet valve. So when I pulled it out, engine oil just poured out of there like crazy. Don't mind the mess, it's just all draining into there because it's everywhere anyways, so. Why is there oil in the water now, in the midsection? Why? That's your cooling system. There should not be any oil in there. And I noticed oil starting to pee out of here because this is a relief where the water comes to cool your fuel module. So, I did a quick online search just to see what we could find. And from what I've found is there's some issues here with this oil cooler that's the only time water enters your or can be mixed with your oil if something goes bad in there so we're gonna find out there's some guys that pull these apart and they call it coining the oil pressure the there's brass tubes in there but uh, i think we're just gonna pull that off and uh if it needs a new one we're probably just gonna put a new one on but we'll pull off we pulled off the top cover here and we're gonna Pry out this ring here and pull off this water line here and see what we can find in there. All right, guys, so with our intake off and everything, we thought we'd pull our oil assembly, cooler assembly. I just pulled the ring off the top. They look like piston rings, actually. So I pulled it off. Oh, it looks fine in there. Apparently, they've had issues with this. Uh, so I thought I'd better pull off the bottom. That's where our issue is, guys. This is supposed to be water going through those tubes, not oil, and it's right full of oil. So it's happened. That's toast. And all of our oil goes into our water. And there's obviously too much water pressure. So that poppet valve blows and oil comes out of it. And oil in turn comes out your piss tube down here. And yeah, that's it. So. We're not going to screw around like the guys on forums. I appreciate that they do that. They push down the rubber and then they knurl the ends so they don't blow out. We're going to put on a new one. Okay, so I just backed this bad boy into the shop because we got a torrential downpour and I have the shop full. So anyways, it's in here. I got the new module. Talked to the customer. Uh, we spoke about doing the 
bending over the tab method and there's no way that's going back. It is hard as a rock and it's toast. So anyways, it was just a little over $1,800. Got a bit of a discount and this is it. So we're gonna lube up those O-rings and put this on. I uh, cut the Oedeker clamps nicely on here and I'm gonna put some new Oedeker clamps on to do a nice finish off job of it. And we're gonna fill this thing up with oil and start it up and start flushing out the coolant system to get all the oil out of it. Okay, so with oil uh, O-rings shoved in, put your four bolts in. Don't forget to put this bracket on this bolt and you torque them all to 23 foot pounds. I snugged them all first and then I went to 23 foot pounds on all four in an X pattern. And uh, now you clip your fuel filter back in and then we're gonna go up top and put our uh, plastic intake on and our three Phillips screws and we are done. customer within a half a day. I just wanted to make this video to show you guys that these oil failure or oil coolers are prone to failure and uh, yeah just help you diagnose it and hopefully this helps you. I am taking the boat for a test drive here and it ran just fine and it's been working great for the customer since then. The part is cheap but it was the right thing to do to put the new part on. Thanks for watching guys. As always guys Thanks for watching and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.